folks. It is WOW 360 sprint time here at the State Fair, and I've got the track announcer from CMS, Alan Miller, here, and he is going to help out. Alan, uh, why don't you give us the lineup here for this 360 race? You bet. The winged outlaw warriors at the State Fair here on Sunday night, the last night of the fair. On the front row on the inside, it's going to be the number 33 car. He's out of Higginsville. That's Austin Allenbaugh to the outside of him out of California. Randy Martin in the 14 car. Keep an eye on him as he goes through the night. He's won many races here at the State Fair. Inside of row number two will be the 9M of Cody Baker. Strong young driver coming on this year. Brian Brown, the 21 car. Keep an eye out of him, fresh out of Knoxville. In the third row, the 28 of Jonathan Cornell. The outside of him, the 3P of Rusty Potter. Lined up by they come out of turn number four, the WOW 360 sprints at State Fair. I think that's Allen Ball up there in the lead right now with Randy Martin in second. Brian Brown in third. Jonathan Cornell in that fourth spot. Austin Allenbaugh is going to come around and lead lap number two as he pulls away from Randy Martin in second place. Brian Brown in third. Jonathan Cornell here in that fourth spot. But your leader, Austin Allenbaugh, is going to come around and lead on lap number three. Randy Martin in second. Brian Brown in that third spot. Jonathan Cornell in fourth. And that's Cody Baker in that fifth spot. Allen Ball already up into lap traffic. Up into lap traffic now. They get around Taylor Walton in the 93 car. Let's see how Austin Allen Ball handles some of their traffic. They come up around turn number four. Austin Allen Ball still hanging on to the lead. Randy Martin and now Brian Brown closing in as they go around turn number one and two. Pretty much a straight choo-choo train and a car slowing down on the track as we see Brian Brown go around in turn number two as Taylor Walton Comes to a stop here on the front stretch, the 93 car. That brings out your first caution. And again, the 93 car of Taylor Walton out of Warrensburg, the young driver, yeah. started back, back in the pack in the 24th spot. He slows down. He was having some problems with that car in the heat races. But the big news is up there in turn number two. It looks like Brian Brown spins. It, so this looked, is, it, looked, like, it looked like Brian Brown tagged the guardrail on the inside with the left front wheel, and that's what sent him spinning and he just couldn't recover once the car started to go around. But like you say, uh, one of the top runners up there right in the front running third, if I remember right, and clips the guardrail. Yes, he was running third as he got into that lap traffic. You could see the 33 of Austin Allen ball. The lead was changing, and you can see the 14 of Randy Martin still up in that second spot. Keep an eye on Jonathan Cornell, the 28, the young driver out of Sedalia. He's been running strong in the WOW this year as well. Those wing outlaw warriors. Well, Alan, all I can say is it really is great to be here at the State Fair. You really got to thank Jason Bodenhammer and Reed Millard for putting on these races here this year. You bet. They've uh, they've stuck it out. 
And I tell you what, it's going to be interesting to watch Brian Brown from the tail of the field now. He replaced that front left tire, so we're going to see if he can work his way up through the field. Oh. But Austin Alibaugh is going to lead him around turn number four. Randy Martin, Jonathan Cornell. Let's see who takes it. Austin Allenbaugh, your leader after that yellow flag. Randy Martin in second. Jonathan Cornell in third. Cody Baker in that fourth spot. And that's R.J. Johnson in the fifth place. You can see Brian Brown now. He's worked his way up at least four positions. He's coming down that front stretch. Let's see how many more spots that he can gain as he gets a little bit wide around turn number one and two. Brian Brown now takes another spot as he works his way through the back stretch. Austin Allenbaugh, still your race leader right now. Martin, Cornell, and Baker. There's Brian Brown takes one more spot. Worked his way up, he's taken six positions now. Brian Brown again, okay, you have your race leader, Austin Allen Ball, now getting into lap traffic as he works his way around turn number three and four. Brian Brown working his way up through the field as well. Here comes out Austin Allen Ball, your race leader. Randy Martin, the 14 car in second, Jonathan Cornell in third. Baker in fourth, and the 71 car of R.J. Johnson in fifth, as we have Randy Martin slowing down. Randy Martin slows down on the back stretch. That brings out the second yellow flag. Well, Alan, one thing about it, this is going to close things up again, get everybody a chance, plus uh, Brian Brown, I don't know what he's up to uh, exactly right now, but uh, he's going to have a chance to get on it again and get up some more positions. This is amazing. Your top two contenders, Brian Brown in the 21 car and Randy Martin in the 14, both top two contenders have now had problems with their machines. Randy Martin now on the back stretch, and we'll count and see how far the 21 car of Brian Brown has moved up. But Austin Allen Ball looking strong at the front of the pack now. That'll put Jonathan Cornell now up in the second position with Cody Baker in third. You know, with the way Austin Allen Ball is running, though, I'm not sure it's going to make any difference what anybody does at this point because, boy, I'm telling you, Allen Ball right now is strong. I mean, the guy has got the setup. He's driving it right. The horsepower is there. He is doing it. That's the only thing I can do. Very strong car. I got the chance to see that young man start out in 305 sprints down at Central Missouri Speedway. And he's worked his way up through these 360 sprints in the world of out winged outlaw warriors. So it's going to be fun to watch him. He is hooked up tonight. He has that set up just perfect for this dry slick track down here tonight. And again, we want to thank Reed Millard and also Jason Bodenhammer for the great job they've done down here keeping the State Fair Speedway open, the historic half mile down here. A lot of great races, of course, earlier tonight with the late models as well. Uh, we're going to be back with a restart here. I think we're going to be lining them up for just a little bit, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Fire them off here again as Austin Allenbaugh has been in control of this race almost from the beginning. Jonathan Cornell in second, Cody Baker, R.J. Johnson, and Eric Todd in that fifth spot. And we are about ready to go green, and we are. Brian Brown trying to move up a couple of spots, but gets hung out to dry. Brian Brown 
down into the turn as he takes another spot up into the 11th position now as he gains a couple more. Allen Ball still your race leader. Cornell and Cody Baker. But keep an eye on the 21. Looks like he's working those tires pretty hard. Here comes Allen Ball, still your race leader. Jonathan Cornell just behind him. Allen Ball has that set up as we have another slow car on the back side. Looks like he'll be able to pull in to the back side. And he does pull into the pits. So Allen Ball, still your race leader as he comes down the front stretch as we head towards the tail end of this race, Jonathan Cornell, Cody Baker, Allen Ball now guys getting up into the last lap. See the Superman on top of that car, Allen Ball, Cornell, Baker, top three right now. Alaba still fighting through the traffic. Cornell in the second spot. Cody Baker in third. Alan Ball, your leader, trying to get through some lap traffic. Gets hung up for just a little bit. Cornell closed up to probably within 10 car lengths of Alan Ball, but now that they get clear, Alan Ball pulls away again. But once again, he counters a lap car going down that back straightaway. This will give Jonathan Cornell a chance to make up some of that ground while Allen Ball is still behind the lap car. And Brown now, he's back into the top ten. Kind of will work his way back up through again. He's back top ten. Allen Ball, still your race leader now. Here's the race leader in the 33 of Allen Ball. Cornell just behind him as they maneuver around lap traffic. Leaders work their way through the lap traffic here as we get into the closing stage of this, light, this race. The flagman's got the white flag in hand. There's Allen Ball. Austin Allen Ball is going to take the white flag. Jonathan Cornell kind of hang up on a lap car here just momentarily. And Austin Allen Ball stretches out that lead through three and four. Here's going to be your winner. Austin Allen Ball, Jonathan Cornell, Cody Baker. And I believe Eric Todd in that fourth place. Well, Alan, quite a race for Austin Allen Ball. Nice young driver. Uh, that yeah, that young gentleman has really been improving with the WOW Sprints, these 60, 360 Sprint cars. Like I said earlier in the race, we got to see him start out in a 305 down at Central Missouri Speedway, and he's been traveling around with these guys, doing a great job. You know, I, all I can say is, is he's well deserving of that Superman S that he's got on the top of that wing, because, man, I mean, uh, he, put, he really put it on these guys. Uh, lap traffic played quite a bit into it there toward the end of the race. It was fun to watch him and Cornell kind of uh, weaving their way, and, and both of them playing it safe and, uh, you know, really really getting the job done, though, in the process. Doing a great job, Sam, on the mic there, down on the track. They're giving out the award. Once again, your winner for the 360 WOW race here at State Fair Speedway, oh, awesome. Austin Woo! Superman Allen Ball. <laughs>